Got it. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. Um, as most of you know, I had to step away for a little bit as I had a death in the family that I needed to take care of, but I am happy to be back here and get these interviews going again. And and uh, kind of ironically, I guess, enough that we have Caroline Purvey here. Um, this lovely lady, she has dedicated over a decade to creating a unique and sustainable cost-effective program to eradicate unnecessary suffering from stress, overwhelm, and trauma. Um, her established and trusted brand, the TRE UK, because Caroline is spending the time coming to us from the UK, uh, she delivers the Total Release Experience Program, which has transformed the lives uh, of men, women, and children globally. She is the author of the number one bestseller, Feel It to Heal It, and absolutely love this book. I have read it myself. Caroline comes highly recommended by professionals, uh, including doctors, counselors, therapists, and psychologists. She, her validated and accredited program has been adopted by the fire and rescue, police, and prison services. Her expertise is unparalleled, as is her dive and her drive and her passion. And you know, I met Caroline uh, last year. We met at the Achieve Conference, and I was so happy to be introduced to her. Um, I think it's fascinating what you do, but I would love for it to come from you and for you to share with people how you got into the total release experience and creating this whole system. Well, thank you, Laura. And it's a, a pleasure to be here. And what I love about technology is it's a global thing and we can all connect. And that's where it is with the program that, that we do. I'm a great believer in synchronicity and everything happening for a reason. And as you know, my story from the book, I couldn't make it up. But I, in brief, I found myself in South Africa at a time I was meant to be there. And given the size of the country, there was a training going on five minutes from where I was at my daughter's place, which actually was 11 years ago this week, because that's when my first grandson was born. And that's why I had to be out there. Uh, so great synchronicity. I learned a, a program that I was told about. Well, it was a it was a technique that I was told about um, trauma prevention. And I vowed that day to bring it back to the UK and make it happen. And that's been my vision and mission ever since. I I'm so passionate about the power of the human body to heal. And I have made those discoveries by working with people. It's experiential. What is it? Well, I'm going to use the simple language. The science is behind it. But look, we're all stress buckets. We fill our bucket with our history. All of us have got a backstory. But of course, it's different for all of us. But we fill that bucket. And when the bucket starts to get a bit full, we start to notice physical, mental and emotional imbalances. That can be anything from back, hip, neck, shoulder pain, anxiety, depression, um, gut problems, relationship issues, high blood pressure. But I have to say that at worst, when that bucket gets full, it can be stroke, heart attack, cancer and suicide. And I can't I can't not mention that. You know, you look at the world statistics. Everybody's spiraling down, their buckets are getting full and they just want to end their pain. They don't want to take their own life. And I'm sure we all know somebody that has lost somebody. But when you look at their backstory, you start to understand why it happened. And so what do we do? Doctor, wave your magic wand, give me the pills and lotions. You can't talk it out of the body. You might have deep pockets and spend lots of money or trying to find somebody that can make you better. You might ignore it. Or you might get that dopamine effect from overeating, the alcohol, the cigarettes, the overexercise, any OCD behavior. And all we've got left with there, of course, is a serious addiction. Yeah, yeah I've known a number of people that 
you know, do it, do exactly that. You bury it, you think it's gone and you may feel like you've gotten over it, but I know you and I have talked and I know uh, basically no matter how much you think you're over it, your body remembers the trauma and can actually cause, you know, different pains and health issues um, and everything else. And, and I've known people on both sides. I've known people that have gotten, you know, so stressed that they have, you know, taken their own life. I know others that just, they worry about everything that they can't control. And no matter how much you try to tell them, if you can't control it, let it go. It's just, they, you, like you said, they're so tightly wound. And the thing is, is how do you unwind from that without having to need alcohol or the drugs or, uh, you know, everything under the sun? Yeah, well, and, and, and that is the whole thing, isn't it? How do we let it go? Well, you know, let's come back to the stress bucket. What I'm talking about here is that we have a muscle deep in the core of our body that we call the hidden treasure for good reason, because most people don't know it's there, the psoas muscle. Mm -hmm. P-S-O-A-S, if anybody is interested in looking it up. But it's our fight flight center. And, you know, from the day we're born, that startle response, that's our muscle kicking in and saying, right, you're breathing, your heart's going, and you've got this other missing piece of the jigsaw that we've all forgotten that actually protects you when you go through trauma. Mm -hmm. And when you survive that trauma, you need to release the adrenaline and cortisol out of the body. And we are animals. Uh, the infamous David Attenborough says we're all animals in clothing. But what do animals do when they are free from their predator after a chase and they haven't become the day's dinner? They shake. <laughs> That's it. They shake. They shake and tremor. And anyone with dogs would recognize that shaking. Mm -hmm. Human beings are supposed to do it straight after the event but of course it's been suppressed in all of us and we don't understand what it means and therefore we keep suppressing and suppression leads to depression and what we teach in our program uh, is to thoughtfully activate the psoas so that's acronym is turn on the big tap the big tap you got on your bucket Thoughtfully activate the psoas. And so the very fact that we don't do it naturally, we lay on the floor, press play on the audio, and let the body do the talking. Yep. I will tell you, it is definitely a wild, it's, it's a very weird or different experience. I shouldn't say weird, but it's a different experience because you don't really have control over it. I've done it a couple of times before I wound up going out on a number of trips. And, you know, when it tells you, you hold your legs a certain amount of part and they just start shaking. And then after a while, they're like, calm down. And then if you bring closer, they like really start to shake. Um, and it's weird because you'll feel, I, I mean, I did feel relaxed. I felt like things got, now the couple of times I did, you know, I told you that I had, it gave me kind of a headache. And then you had told me basically I was blocking emotions. Um, so I'm really anxious and I'm curious to see, you know, how this will work because most of what I consider my trauma was originally losing my husband 18 years ago. Um, but since the middle of December, my fiance has lost his grandma. We've gone there. I just lost my father who would have been 79 tomorrow. Um, you know, and I went into that mode of taking care of my mother and stuff and everything and doing everything I could for her family, whatever, while I was there. And now that I'm home, it's like I find those moments coming where, okay, now I have to figure out how to deal with this myself a little bit more. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that program going again and seeing how how that release works and stuff. It, it's a fascinating program. And it's it's hard to describe the experience yeah. and the feeling that you get when you do it. And, and you're absolutely right, Laura. And with the couple of sessions you've done, you've dabbled your toes in the water and you've discovered that your body knows something that you had forgotten if you ever knew it in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's powerful, it's empowering and it's transformational. And personally, I've been doing it for over 11 years. And my program has evolved from all the experiences, many, many experiences 
people come to me and say, well, will it help with this? Will it help with that? You know, I'm, it works with Parkinson's. And that is incredible mm-hmm. because Parkinson's is a, is a nervous disorder. Well, we're not born with Parkinson's. Right. And I know if you talk to people with Parkinson's and start to get their backstory, somewhere along the line, there's been trauma, a lot of stress, overwhelm. And everybody's body reacts in different ways. For some, they might appear tough on the outside and then crash. That's it. We work, as you said, with the fire service, the police. Mm -hmm. You know, they walk around with their painted smile. But the exciting thing was having our data validated because we do gather information from every client. It's the most powerful practice one can do to heal their body. And that data showed that police officers working with very high levels of anxiety and depression, by the end of the four weeks of their modules, down over 60%. Yeah. No medication. And that that brings to mind to me another one I would think would be veterans. You know, I've been military all my life and you got combat veterans that have seen a lot and a lot of them are very good at hiding it or smiling and making it seem like everybody's fine when they're physically and mentally in a lot of pain. Yeah. uh, And people just don't know it. Absolutely right. People often say to me, oh, well, it's not not for everyone. You know, everyone's got that muscle in the body and everybody flinches when Mm -hmm. there's that initial reaction to stress or trauma. Even if it's somebody making a loud noise behind you, you're going to jump, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to go into that. Oh, what was that? And that tension keeps going in. But also, you know, every every negative thought changes the physiology of the body. And you said it earlier, you know, like coiled springs. And the spring gets tighter and tighter. If you imagine clenching your fists really Mm -hmm. tight and start to feel, oh, that's beginning to ache a bit but then you get used to the ache so you get comfortable in the discomfort and so you tighten some more and the same thing happens and then you don't realize the tension that's building in the body and this is it get rid of the tension and then you start to hit the reset button yeah and I find a lot of people just keep accepting it and like, oh, well, this is because I'm older. Oh, this because of this. And you just keep accepting it instead of saying your body's talking to you and it's trying to tell you yeah. you need to do something different. But instead, yeah. if we can't throw drugs at it or fix it, which I am not big on, I have to, anybody that knows me knows I love the holistic approach of things. Um, you know, medicine has its place, but I prefer holistic and, um, you know, you see all these people doing this and oh it's because i'm older oh this i'm just accepting it you don't have to and that's the thing you don't have to just accept it yeah listen to it (laughs) absolutely and if you think of a venn diagram so at the center you've got that tension and you start to release that tension everything else that we all need for a good whole healthy life And self-care things, the exercise, Mm -hmm. you know, the breathing practices, you know, the quiet time, the spiritual side, the meditation aspect, the nutrition. Yeah. They all fall into place. And people take up exercise when they've started to get rid of that tightness out their body. People feel more spiritual more forgiving and more at peace in themselves and that's what wonderful aspect of it and they start to eat healthy their addictions fall away because they don't need them anymore they haven't got anything in their body to feed it's a it's a fascinating subject and for me well i shall be sharing it till the day i die Yep, absolutely. I think the more people we can reach, the the better it is. 
Speaking of which, I just want to make sure that we're clear to everybody. I am here in the United States in Missouri and Caroline is in the UK. And like she says, we have technology. And although she flew to the US when I met her in Denver, um, anyone can reach out to her and, and you know, pick her brain about this, um, you know, or in or be part of that program. I have the program. Like I said, it's it's all online. You can do the things and then they're great at communicating. If you have questions, they want to know how you're doing. Um, so just because you're across the pond, you know, doesn't mean that you can't do this. You absolutely can. And that being said, Caroline, what are some of the best ways that people can get a hold of you or get your book your, and tell them about the different programs and stuff that you have, please? Yeah, sure. Well, the, you know, the book, the book, I'm delighted with the response that's coming from the book. And you can get that on Amazon, which is probably in the U.S. the best way to get it from U.S. Amazon. It's also available on Audible. So if you'd like to listen, then that's available too. The website to find out more about what we do, there's also a contact page there, so that might be helpful, is treuk.com. And we will and, put that in the comments at the end of the video too, so everybody can go back and look at that. Yeah, that, that's great, thank you. And, you know, I'm on LinkedIn, if anybody's on LinkedIn, and I'm on Facebook. I've got um, Total Release Experience on Facebook, and I've got my personal. It's all going the same way now, isn't it? It's all your name with your business, so... If you find me anywhere and you want to message, then please do. And I can send you a calendar link. We could have a Zoom connection and you can meet. You can share with me what's going on for you, you know, to know how the program can help you because everybody's different. And, you know, I, I loved it one day when I had a Zoom pop up. Now, my Zoom is never set my calendar for Saturday night. <laughs> And I happened to be in Saturday night, a ping went on my phone and it says, you've got an appointment. And I thought, well, how's that happened? <laughs> and I was in time and I jumped on and there was this lovely lady from the US and she was holding my book. And she said, I've finished it. Now I've got hope. And I thought, well, that says it all. Yep. It and it's wonderful. I always tell people, even hope. if I can help one person, yeah. it's it's worth it. You know, and I know you've yeah. helped a lot more than one, but it's yeah. But it doesn't matter how how much anyone's been through. The fact that you're even if you're listening to this, you've been through it mm -hmm. and you can heal from it. You do not have to carry it around for the rest of your life. We've worked with 80 year olds. And when somebody says, I want to know peace before I go, that's lovely. Yeah, I think, and you've worked with children, all different yes. ages. Yeah, well, we're on we're on a mission here to get it into schools. Um, we've got a, a great project going where if people in the community or school parents, if there's enough of them, do this basic introduction program that we've set up for the community interest, which is a separate side of it. Um, we will pay for the teacher in the school to learn and have a license for the school to teach it across the board. It's cost effective, scalable and sustainable. And children, honestly, I don't suppose the children in the US are they're perhaps worse off in many respects because some of the, you know, the horrors that go on in schools around the country, but they need to learn it. And then parents know that their child has got a tool for life and a life tool. No matter where they are, when they grow up and they go off, if they hit stress or trauma, they have got the tool, they know it, and they can do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think so, it's a, fan, a fascinating uh, program process. Um, like I said, it's it's very hard to put in words, <laughs> you know, sometimes how it works and how it makes you feel. You just kind of have to try it out and and go with it and see, because um, yeah. I'm one of those ones that yet yeah, one size fits none. <laughs> We're all yeah. different. And, you know, I mean, I was no asked, asked recently, Laura, 
What is the biggest barrier? And I had to think about it. And I think the biggest barrier is mindset. The oh. fact that, hang on a minute, you mean all that money I've been spending on myself, even though it hasn't really worked, that I can lay on the floor and do something and that is going to sort the problem. Now that requires a mindset shift. It does, or at least to be open-minded. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're closed-minded and you think, oh, this is bunk and that's bunk, it's going to be hard to, you know, to help heal yourself or to, you know, to move forward. I always like an open mind and, you know, I'm always happy to try out different things. Some things will work for me. Some won't. It just depends. Like you said, we're all different. So, yeah. but yeah. We're, we're, we're all, we can all lay on the floor and activate our psoas. And then what happens? Well, that that's the joy. It, it is a joy because the body's yeah. a miracle. Yep. Absolutely. It's why I love well, coaching, you know, because coaching, you've got the answers inside. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, Same and many, here, because coaching, I can tell, I can help show people different things, but what is self-care to me mm -hmm. may not be self-care to that person. And unless we do the whole coaching in that conversation, so I know, you know, what a day in a life looks like for you, where do you want it to go? It, it's got to all be customizable. It's just, you know. Mm. There's certain things you can put out there, but not everybody's, you know, going to resonate. You know, I told people yeah. self-care is more than bubble bath, you know, for my fiance, self-care is working on a race car. So it's different for everybody. It's just. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, we're living in a, an age where, you know, I mean, in the UK, you may have seen the NHS here is just breaking down. And, you know, those in the NHS service have got their own bucket full. Yeah. Who's who's out there to fix anybody? I always say you can't rely on anyone else. You need to rely on you. And if you've That's got it. tools that you can use and you're open minded about it, then, you know, why not use them? Why not give them a try? If you're waiting for someone else to help fix things or fix the world or fix it, you will be waiting a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A long time. <laughs> Well, it's a bit like sitting in a deck chair on the sinking ship, isn't it? You know, come and rescue me. Yeah. You've got to get in the boat and row like hell, or you've got to swim like mad to get to the shore. Right. Yeah. And I think a, a, a lot of stress, and I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of stress buckets right now. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but, you know, definitely anybody that wants to reach out, you know, I'm always happy to talk and talk is free. Nothing absolutely. to lose. Yep, absolutely. Well, I want to thank you, Caroline, for spending this time with me this afternoon. Um, guys, I hope if you have your stress buckets and they're full, um, definitely reach out to Caroline. Or like she said, you can go on Amazon. You can get her Feel It to Heal It book. That'll tell you a little more about our program. Um, but like she said, talk is free. And it's always worth a conversation. I will put all your contact information or how they can get a hold of you or find out more about your program in the comments below. And um, thanks again. It's just, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you. And it's been a pleasure to share with, with your audience. I hope somebody, if it resonates with one person, then that makes me happy. So thank you for the opportunity, Laura. Oh, thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Look forward to following you on your healing journey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we'll be restarting that next week because the, the couple of months I've had, yeah, I, I now yeah. I have things I need to release and, and move forward. So, yeah. And you'll be able to share that progress. That'll be an update you can give every week. I'm I, will, sure I, will be glad, I will be glad to do that so people will know. Like yeah. I said, I, you know, I, I always stay on the positive side, but sometimes, you know, you keep getting thrown lemons. You just got to yeah. figure out how to process and work through it. <laughs> Absolutely. So thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon and we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Why am I not ending? My button's not working. Oh, there we go.